Today in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, our mission is to find the perfect build to destroy every monster. But mainly Gleox and Lionel, so I don't die a bunch. We started off hard and hot by trying to take on the first Gleox with some laser bots. Our first iteration used homing bots with construct heads and lasers, but those were literally an epic fail because of low DPS and the Gleox moves too fast for them and then I would just die. Next up, we tried homing bots with rotating wheels. The ideal was the lasers and cannons would have a 360 field of view, so we carried one all the way over, but the three others literally despawned and I was quite mad, but we tested it anyways. And honestly, it failed horribly. <laughs> My car fell over. It's attacking. Ah! Why is the cannon hitting me? Next up, we ditched the homing cars and just used a stabilizer, a contract head, and a ton of lasers. It was actually starting to show some promise. Attack it. Attack it. Attack it. Hurry up. <laughs> it's gotta work. Then we tried this build a bunch more times, but it was inconsistent. It would break or the Gliok would just fly out of its range. So it was time for the homing cart once again, but with slightly less lasers. And this actually was the best version so far. Now with this build, we were eventually totally able to weaken the Gliok until it flew all the way in the sky and we couldn't reach it. Then we had to do the normal strat with the key side balls to drop it down. And we actually just used a cannon to get the last shot in, which was cool. Let's go cannon shot. So yay, we killed our first Gliok our build actually had high DPS, but it had two major problems. It was very inconsistent DPS, and it absolutely had zero protection for us. Unlike our perfect creation at the end of the video. At this time, we were still looking for a solution to those problems, so we switched our build strategy and headed to the sky. We tried this bomber plane, and it did okay versus Bokoblins, but that was about it, as it was actually really hard to steer. And we tried this four-fan bomber bike versus another Gliok, and it was okay. It just didn't have anywhere enough DPS, and it was also pretty hard to steer. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet. <laughs> then we tried making a flying fortress which had a ton of lasers and cannons which would help with the DPS but it was just too dang heavy and it couldn't fly anywhere and we made another fan bike that could actually fly with a laser and a bomber and it was actually very good versus weaker monsters and we absolutely just bullied this moblin here oh my gosh he just fell this thing doesn't die he's stuck on a cliff what the heck <laughs> but it couldn't do anything versus the bigger monsters so it was obvious the sky really wasn't our domain so we went back to the drawing board and we decided to try and build a mech and this time it had like every zonai weapon in the game a magic wand and it was okay but it was actually kind of hard to steer and then the arms would just fall off a lot of the time so we could get a couple kills but ultimately this one was a failure as well and we tried building an actually cool looking robot. I mean, just look at it. This is our ultimate perfection build I was talking about. I am just kidding. But it did have an endless freeze and it had fire. And it was actually pretty amazing. It would just constantly freeze the enemies and deal damage. But they had to be in like the perfect spot for it to work. So this one also was another fail. Next, we even built a tank that looked cool and it had protection from all sides. And this was actually really good versus the smaller units, but it did lack the DPS for anything bigger like the Gleox and the Lionels. But making that tank had something click in our brain. Try making a smaller tank that still had the protection, but use the laser with the high DPS from earlier to put on the top as the gun. So we used sleds for the base, the shield, and the top for protection, two big wheels for the front for the rough terrain, and two small back wheels for speed. It's obviously a steering stick to move in the construct head, and then as many lasers as we could fit on the top and my gosh this thing was perfect it had amazing protection it had a ton of dps and we were melting literally everything in sight except for these rock armor fools you could just swap out a cannon for one of the lasers or just get off the machine like we did and then break it with bomb arrows and then it just goes back to melting them and then we were just blown away at how everything this thing destroyed so yes this build was op but the downside was it does take a lot of battery to run and as well as it takes a lot of zonite to auto build make sure you watch my last video of how to max your battery first because that takes care of the battery issue but then doing that strategy you also gain a ton of zonite so you never really have to worry about running out of resources so you can do builds like this so we continued on as we were just having so much fun killing everything around us with ease after dying so many times but we finally ran into our first lionel oh no we have a lionel right there and i was a bit nervous so for some reason since the lionel can't see you he just uses his bow shots continuously and he just literally eats the damage but if your battery does run out well he gets smart and then he breaks your machine or he'll just break it if you get too close to it so you need to keep your distance kind of like this. Come on, kill him. Kill him. He's stuck in the bow. He doesn't know what to do. He can't see me. And he just gets melted. This machine's amazing, dude. That's a Lionel down. But now it's time to take on the Gleox again to see how this build will fare. And I'm not gonna lie, it was awesome. But what sucks is sometimes you need to actually remake the build mid-fight because the Gleox will just destroy it. But once the Gleox is low HP, it flies into the sky high again because you don't melt it in time. So then you do need to do the normal way of riding the updraft with the key side balls again, bring it down. And then we just took down another Gleox just like that. Easy. Wait, what? 
I killed them? Let's go. Tank laser, much better, dude. So when we went back to the flame gliok and tried this again, and it was just super easy. We took on the frost gliok this time and just destroyed him as well. Complete. Then we even wanted to take on both of the King Gliox and we were melting them fast and we just destroyed them both as well. So the laser tank is amazing for protection and damage. The only downside is versus Gliox. Once you get them low enough, you do have to fly into the sky. But versus everything else, it's literally perfect and just melts everything. And it doesn't disappear when you're on the ground either. So you can use it to destroy everything. But if you guys like this build, comment down below what your thoughts of it. Subscribe for more.